Hey friends, here at The Secret Base, we make a variety of apps for musicians, and there's an emphasis on things that use MIDI. If you're watching this video, you likely know that MIDI is a workhorse for modding music studios, letting you connect all sorts of software and equipment together. In collaboration with our friends at Confusion Studios and Audionic Apps, we're pleased to announce MIDI TV, which is a set of apps that you can use to link your music gear to the latest gadget from Apple. You probably know that the latest generation of their little hockey puck is open for developers, but if you check the back of the, for the connections, there's a little bit of trouble. First, there's no MIDI DIN port, but that's not terribly surprising. More problematic is that there's no lightning port, so you can't use a camera connection kit to get to USB. The worst news, though, is that Apple removed core MIDI from tvOS, so there's no built-in MIDI over Wi-Fi. Here at the base, we like challenges, so game on, Apple, game on. So let's dive in to how MIDI TV works. To start with, we've added a new feature to Music.io on iOS. If you go to the Settings tab, you'll note a new switch to enable an Apple TV connection. You toggle that on, and MIDI software running on an Apple TV will be able to send and receive MIDI to your iOS device. A couple of other switches to take note of. Depending on your iOS software, you might want to turn off advanced scheduling of MIDI and set the iOS device to stay active, even if there's no USB connection. Once you've got the iOS device set up, connecting to the TV is easy. Here's the demo. We've got an iPad running Music I.O. and an Apple TV. A couple of apps are on the Apple TV. First one we're going to deal with is MIDI TV Orchestra. When you start it up, it'll spot the iPad on the Wi-Fi network, and you can connect to it fairly easily. Now we're going to switch over to Infinite Looper and send some MIDI notes. That's channel 10, which is percussion, and channel 1, which is a piano patch. Infinite Looper will also route USB MIDI through the iPad and out to the TV. Now we're going to run some loops through Infinite Looper and toggle through some different sounds on the Apple TV. The Apple TV has 128 general MIDI sound fonts as well as percussion. You can display the notes being played on screen and see what's going on on all of 16 channels. Now we're going to switch over to a different app on the Apple TV. MIDI TV Clock is an app designed to let you see different CC values, so you can track meters as you do some mixing, and you can see bars and beats displayed as things click along. We're going to switch to MIDI Designer for a couple of controls to handle some CC messages. Note that the tracking is very fast. The meters on screen respond to uh, channels 100 to 107. And if you want to look at MIDI clock, here's Funkbox, and we'll use that to send a MIDI clock message. You can see the bar and beat clicking away. So if you want to have a remote display as to where you are in a particular piece, you've got it with the Apple TV. If you're an Ableton Live user, you might want to use the View plug that's from the Music IO team and have that connect to MIDI TV clock. This will give you an easy way to monitor different meters of your Ableton session. If you wish to make a connection from a Mac, you can use MIDI TV Host. This will connect to Logic, Ableton, anything you want. So here we have a connection, and MIDI TV Orchestra again, and we'll play some MIDI out of Logic.
This is a, just a general MIDI file that you can pick up off the internet, and you can see what's happening on each of the channels, and switch instruments as we did before. You can scrub back and forth fairly easily. Just drag around, and we cruise through the MIDI file. MIDI for the Apple TV might seem like it's coming out of left field, but one of the things we look at from Seek Race Design is, do you want to get MIDI from point A to point B? And the answer is always yes. So we've worked with our friends at Audionic Apps and Confusion Studios and have MIDI TV for the Apple TV. It's from the team that brought you Music.io, and we hope you dig it.